So now there's five people crouching down a hallway. I'd, you'd love to see it. No one's droning for the team. I actually did not know people play Rainbow Six like this. <laughs> Got him. Nice. Oh my God. That's what it feels like to be the last person alive and get the kill. <laughs> you clutched up, yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to IGN on the 6, IGN's premier Rainbow Six Siege show, where we bring you exclusive first looks and early access to everything Rainbow Six Siege. Today, we're going back to the core of Rainbow Six Siege and not only trying out their new legacy arcade mode, but we're bringing in Rainbow Six Siege pro player Mint from Dark Zero to coach Stella from our IGN on the 6 squad and help elevate our gameplay. There he is. Found him. <laughs> nice job. Yay! Teamwork! And to celebrate the holidays, don't miss details on how you can get Rainbow Six Siege for as low as $10 starting today. But first, it's time for Stella and Mint to meet and discuss how to improve her gameplay and become a better Rainbow Six Siege player. <laughs> oh, it. there you go. <laughs> I got it! All right, let's go. Hey guys, my name is Kyle. I go by the in-game name of Mint, and I'm the captain and in-game leader for Dark Zero Esports. All right, guys, so here we are watching Stella's gameplay on Hereford Base, and I believe we're going to be starting with Pulse. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Pulse's loadout. You are running the Ump IC, which uh, right now is the meta, so that's good. Pistol, secondary weapon, you know, it doesn't matter. And then your gadget of being barbed wire. I have seen a lot of uh, lower ranks running barbed wire, and I mean, if you're not hitting your C4s, maybe it is the play, but normally you're gonna be running pulse uh c4 and that's just because pulse you know he's a specialist of playing underneath uh, bomb sites and things like that and if you're gonna be playing under a bomb site you might as well have a, a c4 okay that makes sense secure the area keep the bombs protected so i don't really know this map i know that they reworked it so mm -hmm. it, my map knowledge was pretty much like a zero for this okay i would say pulse would be a, definitely a good op there's a lot of like little things that pulse can do he is usually a roamer so usually you're off site barbed wire now is kind of used as almost like an alarm almost like a war an early warning that someone is about to take an angle so that barbed wire right there i mean it's gonna stop them from pushing up the stairs but it's not gonna like let you know if someone does push up the stairs and is already looking down the hallway okay cool the default cams in this game are actually huge I see you didn't get on them at all early. If you get on them, like right when the round starts, you can see where they spawned and then you'll know generally what direction they're gonna be coming from. So you can actually start to predict which way they're gonna be coming into the building. And you can kind of like meet them at the front line kind of thing. Um, it looks like they're coming from bottom up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say on this bomb site, you going downstairs and leaving the most defender sided bomb site to take a gunfight is not uh, recommended because mm. you're now making it easier on them. Whereas normally, if say you put your bar wire lower and you're waiting at the top of the stairs for him, he'd have to actually come and use utility and push you off kind of thing. Okay. The biggest thing of this game is just tactical wise, like when to take gunfights and when not to take gunfights. And I think that's kind of what separates like the middle of the pack gold from from high tier players is decision making because you're first floor here and there's no point in being above people with pulse so usually either people will blow the lower walls with the thermite or they'll take above and then come down the stairwells and you'd be able to tell that pretty much right off the bat with default cams i would just try to stay on your scanner as much as possible unless you are like right now you're completely safe so i would stay on your scanner as much as possible trying to find this guy anytime you're going to be moving to you know, like out of cover kind of thing. You know, I keep your gun out, but looks like you found him right there. Yep, you know he's above. And again, I, I would still stay on the scanner right now. Because you're kind of like losing his movement. Friendly, last operator standing. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so you would stay on your sensor the entire time and you'd be tracking him. He can't sneak up on anybody. And then you'd be calling out to your teammates, okay, he's gonna be coming down the stairwell. So everyone's got a crossfire on the stairs or he's not at the stairs anymore. He's going, you know, he's rotating. So now there's not someone looking at that stairs. It's now that you can shift the entire defense to the other stairwell and then all hold crossfire. So we can, 
can't take because like right there he was taking a bunch of one-on-one -on -one gunfights and you're going to win an attacker when you do that defense pretty much has to be coordinated so ash the r4 by far the best weapon in the game in my opinion ash is a superhuman um three speed best gun in the game if you use the r4 and then secondary gadget again optional however in this meta i would probably recommend breaching charges and just because ash now has three you know range breach with her projectiles and now she's got three breaching charges so basically if you don't have a sledge or a buck which looks like you have a buck right now but you're kind of secondary um for vertical gameplay so yeah really important you don't just drive your drone randomly a lot of casual players will just kind of kamikaze sacrifice their drones it's like the bomb site's already found there's nothing else to really look at at this point this game's all about drone economy so attackers have 10 drones. You want to keep as many of them alive because this game is all about intel. You know, defenders have valve cams, defenders have maestro bubbles. They have default cams. Attackers only have drones, so they're super important. And especially solo play, if you just drive it back into your spawn where you're going to spawn and then you pick it up, you'll have two drones in your pocket. And even if you're not playing with anybody, at least now you have two drones to use and you can kind of, you know, get around yourself. Okay, you're taking garage. I'm guessing that Nook doesn't have the hard breaching device because I believe Nook has that. Oh no. Oh, that's a soft wall, I think. Oh, that's a reinforced wall that you're after. Okay. Yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, Ash, Ash definitely does not breach reinforced walls and your Zofia looks so confused right now. He's like, why can we not go through this? All right, so now there's five people crouching down a hallway. I, you love to see it. No one's droning for the team. I actually did not know people play Rainbow Six like this, so this is very interesting. Oh no, there's a barricaded door. Okay, got killed. Okay, I think this is first floor bomb site too, yeah. So it's not basement, but it's first floor bomb site. So again, this is where, instead of going in from the first floor where they can be either, now they can be basement, or they can be second floor or third floor. It would be very good to entry from the top floor. Now you clear third floor, then you clear the second floor. You know they can't be above you. They can only be below you. You have someone watch the one stairwell, and then you would use your ash charges above the site, and you'd be able to clear the entire site. And they wouldn't be able to, because you know they can't be above you. So very risky coming in from the garage, but you do get the kill out of it. I guess that works. <laughs> Those are the words I wanted to hear. I guess that works. <laughs> All right, so we just finished watching Ash and Pulse clips um, on Hereford Base, and I would say that I have a few notes to give you. So for Pulse, I'd recommend bringing the C4 and just playing under bomb sites or above bomb sites. C4 is really gonna help your kill count. Being on your scanner more, again, this is gonna help set up your C4 kills. It's also gonna help your team more. There was a couple times where you know, you kind of lost where the enemy was coming from. And this would be solved if you just stayed under scanner more and, you know, just kind of like kept track of them. And then being on default cams in the beginning, I think this is huge. Every single player should be doing this. You flick the outside default cams, you can see where the enemies or where the attackers spawn. And you can kind of judge based on that, what take they're gonna be doing or where they're gonna be coming in from. And you can kind of like meet them on the front line. And then moving on over to Ash, same thing with the default cam would just be saving your drone. Once the bomb site's found, a lot of players tend to just drive around and see like, oh, there's a meat charge here, there's a castle here. You know, it's not really necessary. Just bring that drone back into spawn, pick it up. You have two drones in your pocket and better drone economy for the team. It's gonna make clearing the map a lot easier. Utilizing your ash charges basically for clearing Meister bubbles, shields, helping your team out so they're not pushing into a castle, pushing into a shield, making sure that you know, you're opening up the bomb site for them. More verticality. If a bomb site's able to be played top down, um, you can use your ash charges and your breaching charges and basically, again, increase your kill count just playing top down. So defenders don't have to worry about, you know, they can only come from this doorway. It's now they can come from above. All right, Stella, after those tips and tricks, I think you're just about ready to hop into the new Legacy Arcade mode. What do you think? I feel like you kind of gave me a cheat sheet on everything. I'm going to use more verticality in the map. I'm going to track the crap out of enemies, and I'm definitely going to try to get some C4 kills. So, yeah. Before we jump into our training session with Stella and Mint, don't miss out on owning Rainbow Six Siege and saving up to 75% with a special holiday sale starting today. You'll be able to play the newest season operation, Neon Dawn, and get a free upgrade to next-gen consoles. 
And if you play the Legacy Arcade Mode, you'll receive one free operator to celebrate five years of Siege. Have them all? Then don't miss out on an exclusive Elf Ash skin not found anywhere else. With Stella primed and Mint acting as her personal coach, it's time to put her newfound skills with Legacy Operator's Ash and Pulse to the test. And speaking of Legacy, we'll be jumping into the Legacy Arcade Mode, available now until January 5th. All right, Stella, go get him. All right, so here we go. Jumping on a Hereford base. You're locking in Pulse right here. We yep. made sure you had C4, so that's uh, step <laughs> one. Let's make sure you're okay. on the default cams in the beginning, but you don't have to do it in prep phase, so go ahead and make sure you're just reinforcing. Okay, cool. Protect the bomb. And this site is perfect for Pulse. So let's have you go downstairs. You can, the most important reinforcements are downstairs. So um, just, I'm going to reinforce these two back here. Yep, those are the best reinforcements on this site. Especially for you. There's, so there's three of them. I don't know how many your, your team's using up right now. Uh, yeah. looks, like, looks like none. Let me check cams. Okay, perfect. Hear them here. Okay, yep, they're going in the garage, exactly like I thought. So they're coming right to you. They're gonna hop right in. Oh, wait, that's me. Yep, I'll get <laughs> off cams. Yep, you're right in front of a saw fob, so be careful. Deploying sensor. So they, they might push soon, so just be careful, yep. One friendly operator remains. Oh my God, really? Okay, your team got decimated. A bomb has been located by that's okay, you clutch these, I've seen it. That's one, there's another one there. Oh, I tried. Ooh, good try. <sighs> but the main well, difference being- where they were coming from. Exactly. And I, <laughs> I pinged my teammates. You let them know, hey, they died, but you let them know. So being in the corner there was not beneficial to me. I mean, you gotta kill you know, like... I, It's a good spot. <laughs> Okay. The only thing that would have been better is if your hatch was open next to you, which you could use your C4 on, then you have a way to get out of there. Oh, okay. You, you could have got the kill and then dropped down the hatch and then rotated up the stairs kind of thing. Like you would have had a okay. escape plan. Let's go to the, down to the second floor. Okay. Yep, the stairwell right there to your left. Keep going. You're gonna get on cams in two seconds, but once you go to your left. In yeah. here? Yep, that's fine, hop on cams. Okay. And let's see where they're coming from. Heard shots there. Yep, right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, go ahead and get off cam so you know they're gonna be coming from that way. Put a C4 on that wall. On that one, yep. So that's the outside wall right here. Put it like- The uh, outside one? Yep, put it like right here. Yep, go ahead and throw it. Okay. Yep, now get on your pulse sensor. If you see anyone out there, you can blow up that C4 and now you can run outside and run out on them. But yep, go ahead and keep pulsing. Got it. He doesn't have the diffuser. Wait, there he is. Okay, perfect. It's below. Try to get, try to go forward. So you can, try, there it is. There you go. There keep it is. Follow him. Yeah, there you go. Then that's me. So he is entering below you right now. So he's in the second floor. You have the knowledge of this. Keep following. Mm -hmm. Keep, keep tracking him. He's gonna be okay. going. He's <laughs> coming. So he's coming up the stairwell. Get ready to pre-aim the stairwell. He has to come up it. Your teammate's doing the same thing. So he has to come up the stairs. Ready. Oh, nice. Right. He got it. What? Perfect. Though. Yay! Teamwork! Dude, they actually listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get over to where my spawn is. You can even drive it. Yep, keep going back. You can literally keep going. You can get it all the way to where, where you just have to hey. pick it up. Perfect. All right, let's see where these guys are. Oh, found them. Let's see if we can get you ash and some of that utility up there that they have. Should I breach this wall down there? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get you inside there. And then go in there. You can go up the stairs at this point because your team just died. So, one before Ash, full confidence. So he's right up those stairs running out the door. Nice. Just one. Oh, yeah, I had... I had... <laughs> Ooh. Once they know where you're at, they run at you. Yeah. Like bees on honey. Like they're just going to be flying. People just want kills. Yeah, shotgun to the face with... Man. Nope. Oh, they want to go basement. Which is fine. We can set well, up We can set up that uh, C4 trap or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Okay. All right. So stairs? Or the ladder, maybe? Yep. yep. And then let's get on cams. Right. Let's see if they're pushing it right away. Oh, 
Oh, okay. That was the gun range one. And you did lose the ladder one as well they... with the garage one. Yeah, okay. So, pulse. Let's go ahead and uh, throw that C4. Uh, I could put I'm, it here. I'll well, I'm thinking it... you could put it right put at the bottom. Of... Yeah. <laughs> I found one. There like up there. Yep. Might go stairs. Not stairs. Check behind you again. Check the garage. <laughs> oh, it. there you go. <laughs> Oh my god, I actually awesome. got the C4 kill. Okay, this guy's gonna come stairs. Perfect. Get ready to fight stairs. Ooh, I like the pre-fire. You can get right under the stairs now. You can tuck underneath and still pulse. Oh! Oh! Okay. Remember the stairs? Oh, I almost, I oh. almost had that. <laughs> oh my god, but I got the C4. <laughs> <laughs> the trap she worked. Didn't know. Yes! Oh, okay. That felt good. I see what you mean by C4 kills being a Satisfying. pulse's thing. Oh, yeah. I would just go right to the wall and start breaching because this round is going to go extremely fast. 5v2. Up here? Yep. Bump garage. Ash it. Is it reinforced? No? Nope. I would just ash it. Just make it quick. This guy's going to want to go in. God. Okay. Yeah, just follow your blitz up. Uh, ash, ash the floor. Ash oh, the floor. whoa. Break the floor. Break the floor. Yep. Perfect. See if he's underneath that. See if he's underneath the hole. Nope. If he's down there. Anything. He is down there. You can uh, open up the hatch. Yeah. Now go ahead and drone down the hatch. Try to find this guy. Yep. Shoot. He's camping the bomb, so you're going to have to go somewhere and get him. Where is he at? He's in the garage right Oh, here. he's in the garage. Yep. Leave your, so leave your drone there. Now you can drop hatch and go over there. He's in garage. So yep, go ahead. Down here? Got him! Nice. Oh my god. Okay. Oof. That's what it feels like to be the last person alive to get the kill. <laughs> and you clutched <laughs> up, yeah. So, Kyle, now that we've had some time together, how do you feel I did? Do you feel like I improved overall? I give me give me everything. Give me the good and the bad. Okay. Overall, proud coach. I will say that. Uh, <laughs> starting with pulse. The very first thing you, you kind of look for is default cams, and that was the first thing that you did. I think that was like A+, plus, excelled at that. You were on that every single round. So I think you improved at getting on your pulse heartbeat sensor a ton. You were on it, tracking enemies all over the place. I think just one little bit of criticism for that would be just knowing when to get off your scanner. There were a couple times where, you know, people were coming up the stairs and it's like, you could keep tracking them, but you know they're gonna be coming. They're not gonna go anywhere. You might as well just get off your gun, get ready to take the gunfight, making sure that you're, you're taking the, the smart engagements. You did end up getting a C4 kill, which is huge. I mean, you went from barbed wire, you weren't getting any kills out of that. Now you got at least one, maybe two C4 kills. Uh, switching over to Ash, basically like default cams, but as Ash, you were on your drones. You were able to actually drone out all the rooms, you were even joining for your teammates. You were able to find the enemies. That made me really happy to see. You were using your ash charges. You were opening up walls. You were creating different angles, different engagements that you were taking. With a little more time, you can get more comfortable with that. Overall though, your, your map knowledge on both attack and defense was the biggest thing that increased. And you know, that's kind of what Siege is. It's all about map knowledge and knowing what you want to do. So, you know, overall that, that was great. Well, Mint, thank you so much for coming on and helping me. You are an amazing coach and I hope you can come back and, you know, help us out again sometime. I had a blast. Thanks for having me. Now that's how you improve your Rainbow Six Siege game. We hope you learned a thing or two from Mint and Stella on how to best play these legacy operators to help up your game. Old school operators like Ash and Pulse aren't going anywhere, so feel free to try out these tactics yourself. Don't forget to try out the new Legacy Arcade Mode as well as Operation Neon Dawn, which are available now. I'm Cindy Goodman, and thanks for watching IGN on the 6th.